it's Megan from Crazy Fluid Art. Welcome to my YouTube channel. This is video number one and it's a Dutch pour on one of my square clocks. But before we get started, I would just like to acknowledge the tradi traditional owners of the land where I create, the Wurundjeri people of the Kulin Nation, and I pay my respects to their elders, past, present and emerging. It is an absolute honour for me to be able to create my works on their land. So as you can see here right now, I'm just putting down my white base. I use a house paint that I've mixed with some Floetrol and some water. And now we'll get into the nitty gritty. So I first off think ahead of how I want this design to look. So I'm going to go with an upside down Y. Um, this is going to be very much a blue based clock. So the first color I've chosen to put down as my base is a metallic ocean blue from EDP Paints. I love doing Dutch pours with EDP paints. I feel like they just mix beautifully with the float troll in the water and they just spread gorgeously and then just give you this beautiful shimmer. So this is the metallic ocean blue. As you can see, as I said, I'm putting down um, an upside down Y. I don't mind having dead space in my artwork, so I think it actually lifts the colors that you're using. Uh, the next color I am going to put down is another EDP paint called Light Gold. Um, I feel like this is by putting the blue, then the gold, it allows the gold to pop through but not take over, but it also allows to separate the two blue um, and tealy colors that I'm putting through here. So the next color I'm putting through is a custom teal. Um, I've added, it was a, a plain base teal, which I've added some shimmer from Deco Art. Uh, to it because I really love how the deco art metallics shine through in some of the paints So that's the next color I've put through here and then I do something different I get some metallic magenta and I just add a couple of blobs here and there I don't want the magenta to take over from the blues and I just want some magenta to just pop out in little sections of the clock so I'm just going to put a couple of blobs here and there into the clock um, to just give a little bit of contrast, so to speak. Then we're going to go through and use this cobalt blue hue from EDP. It's just this really bright, vibrant blue. I like blue's my favorite color and this is just up there next to Prussian blue that I just love working with. So we'll just throw that on. And then finally, I'm going to finish with a light turquoise. Um, and that will just help bring some of the blues through and um, just give this really nice, gorgeous color to the top layer as we spread her out. So now we get my hairdryer. So for your Duchess, you want a hairdryer with a fat, flat, flat base. You don't want to be using the round hairdryer because that's just going to blow your paint everywhere. If you really want to learn how to do a Dutch pour, I thoroughly recommend watching Canela Cacao Art. If I've said her name wrong, I am sorry. Um, she just really shows you how to use and hold a hairdryer and you can just watch her the way that she guides the hairdryer through the paint and then just gets the paint flowing in these beautiful directions. Um, so I've spent a lot of time watching her YouTubes um, from my first Dutch to this. There's a massive difference. So I'm just going to guide my paint around in the directions where I kind of want the colors to go, um, hoping that my reds and my golds shine through, which you can see right now. I am not intending to cover the whole clock. Um, as I said earlier, I like having my dead space. So I want some white to come through. I want some white left on the clock. Uh, so you'll also see here now that there is some white cells popping through and that's because I've been using Floetrol in my mix, Australian Floetrol, um, which is just amazing for creating cells. So I'm just going to play around a little bit. I'm going to manipulate. I tried using a little mini hairdryer, a little blow, mini blow dryer to guide some of the paint. This is the blow dryer here, but I wasn't happy. So I ended up just getting my mouth and just blowing in directions where I've just wanted to add some finer details to the clock. And then I had to go through and pick out a couple of little um, stray little hairs that had fallen out. Um, and then we just guide it around. Then I finish up with using a blowtorch just to pop all the air bubbles. And that also helps some of those cells pop through. And you'll see in the finished product how gorgeous those cells are 
um, in the end and how good they look under the resin. Uh, I love this clock. It's one of my favorite clocks that I have made so far. She just looks beautiful. And because I love this color palette so much, I went ahead and made a matching set of coasters, a couple of cheese boards, and a couple of wine caddies as well. And I will show you those videos down the track. But I will throw some music on, let you enjoy the rest of this video so you can watch the final product and see what the clock looks like um, all finished. If you've really enjoyed this, please like, give me some comments, give me some feedback, and even better still, subscribe. I'd really love to um, get my subscriber journey started on YouTube. And I can't wait to bring my next video to you all. In the meantime, happy creating and live life to your fullest.